Hello, this is the first mini album that I've ever made and it was to document my crazy ferret Sir Didymus and how I found him. Uh, I actually found him on my uh, birthday last year in the middle of a busy road so I stopped the car and we got out and picked him up and I've had him ever since so I thought I'd document it in this album here and as his name said Didymus from the fox in the labyrinth I did it labyrinth themed or as much as I could without having uh, any official paper but uh, it's a chipboard and envelope mini album and most of the paper I used was from this set here I also used quite a lot of the images from this CD. This CD actually comes with a, a book of all the images and it's fantastic. I highly recommend it. Here we go. Um, I distressed all the edges with vintage photo and I've just got a little brass edge there. And this decoupage um, pocket watch I put glossy accents on and a picture of my ferret there and this actually comes from the same line as the paper and this bit of bling here is actually a hair grip that I got in a pack from Poundland and I put a bit of bling here as well and a little stick pin and a chart, a compass chart and some Tim Holtz tickets which say trust and dream and then there's a picture of Diddy's paws over my arm on that side, and I'll journal on the other side. It's one of Tim Holtz's uh, bird charms, and I just put some alcohol ink on it to make it a bit more vintagey. Um, I die cut these shapes out, but um, the image on the back here of all the cogs was actually a stamp, I think, and it was the same series as the paper. And then I printed this off from my computer. It says, through dangers untold and hardships unnumbered, I have fought my way here to the castle. And that's what Sarah says in the film. Um, these stickers saying Sir Didymus, um, I actually got from Wilkinson in the children's section. They were really bright colours. So I painted them black and then put some embossing powders over it. Uh, and also some crackle paint. And then this little bauble has the real Sir Didymus underneath. So the first page is the worm page. Where he's asking Sarah in for a cup of tea. So there's some little charm, cups of tea charms and uh, some little stickers there. And this is actually a little magnetic bookmark and some sticky notes. That I've turned into a tag and I got those from Paper Chase along with some stamps that were of clock faces and it saying TikTok and time flies. So just use those as well. And then that's one of my old bus tickets. And then this is a different paper stack. Uh, I can't remember what it is. I'll try and find out. It's, but it's got a little cup of tea and a book there. And this page is based on on Halloween, not on Halloween, sorry, it's based on the books that Sarah has in her uh, room, so The Wizard of Oz for the balloon, and then Alice in Wonderland, where I use the Halloween in Wonderland paper. And then this is a little mini book, which just velcros in there, and um, just has a little clasp there, one of those hook and eye things. It's made from leather and I embossed it with a Tim Holtz embossing folder. It's just some blank pages that I can put little bits of information about Diddy in there. And uh, it's got a photo map there, Sarah in the maze, and some photos on the back. And this is some of that uh, Paper Mania paper, and then I just uh, put some glossy accents over there to make it a bit stronger. Uh, this is inspired by Sarah's room, so she's got her Lancelot teddy bear, and then there's a journey charm, and then like a little book because she has the labyrinth book. 
Okay, well, this is a book plate, a Tim Holtz one with uh, Diddy in the middle and some glossy accents. And then there's some tags in here. There's that paper again, but it had like a little fairy type goblin creature on, and I thought that was quite appropriate for the labyrinth. Then I just embossed this and distressed it. I think this tag was from Kay and Company, and I just stamped on the back and put a bit of bling on it. There's the same paper again. And then this page is for the ballroom sequence. So there's the uh, masquerade mask, which I got from the works. And then just a little brooch that I already had in the shape of a fan. And then this tag has a little dress on, and I did distress it a bit and stamp time flies and underneath I stamp some clocks and it says as the world falls down a picture of Diddy on the back and then this tag has Sarah I don't know what I've done that oh, got it caught in there, there's another photo map there and some journal in space and then this tag has a bit of ribbon and there's Sarah on one side, all distressed and covered in Mod Podge, and a picture on the back. And then some flowers and a flourish, which I'm going to stick back on properly. And uh, another picture of Diddy there, and uh, some uh, little embellishments. And this page is for the maze that the film was based on. I think Sarah has this picture in her room. And uh, there's some tags behind of Didymus's feet because he's got cute feet. And they're just held together by a little peg. And then the flowers on this paper, I used uh, the uh, bead caps. And then it's got the little fairy there. Oh, and there's a, a small tag there with a little punch out key and it's got another picture on and then this page is for Jareth and in his crystal ball there's a picture of my ferret and there's a little tag with some journaling on and did he play in the snow again and this clock here I got from the CD and then this again is a hair clip that I got from Poundland and this uh, You Precious Thing, I printed that from my computer and then used to die, die cut. And then these little brads are from Paper Mania again, I think. They had a whole set of steampunk come out, it was fantastic. And then the little Tim Holtz journey washer. And on this side you open it up and you've got Toby and the Goblins. Uh, this I made from tin foil and cardboard. It's the sh it's meant to represent his necklace, and then I just put a little uh, clock cog on it that goes round. And then these ruffles are meant to represent his clothes. And there's a bit of a doily there, and another paper photo map there with a little clip. And I just use the brads again, and it says. Slime and snails and puppy dog tails. And then there's some little shells there. And this is the Fiery Gang page and this paper, I think it's called the Hippie Stack or something like that. And I got from Hobbycraft on sale. I just cut the flower out there so I could put tags behind it. Let's tack of one of them and as they can take off their head. Uh, I velcro the back of them and every now and again I go and change the heads and this photo of Diddy I had to use for this page because it reminded me of this fiery how they're laughing and there's a few feathers in there because they're all feathery and then there's another tag behind another brad with Diddy looking as though he's laughing and some space for journaling And then this is the Goblin City page, it's some brick wall paper, again I can't remember what stack this was from, I'll try and find out. And then um, throughout the maze these little stalks with eyes follow Sarah about, so that's what I've tried to make here out of fibres and 
tiny little beads and I just put little dots on them. Um, it's meant to be a, a hidden tag so you can't really see it. Um, there's another picture of Diddy on the back. And uh, this tag is of Jareth waiting in the maze room for Sarah to get through the Goblin City. But before she gets there, she has to face the goblins and here's one of the uh, bomb goblins, Diddy on the back. And here's the goblins hiding Toby there. And there's uh, a little star there and some magnetic things at the back but it's not very strong so it can only hold one star. But this picture is off the steampunk CD and I thought it was great. It's a city made up of clocks and bottles and cogs and I thought it would be a good idea for the, uh, for the city. And inside this packet, this envelope pocket, is a little book that I've made. Uh, which this was actually a book as well. But I just used leather pieces and tiny brads and I just journaled on how I found him and what happened and everything. And there's another picture from one of, one of the characters from the film. And then... This page is the owl page and that's uh, one of those hologram holographic bookmarks and I just put feathers behind it to create a pocket and behind there uh, I keep a print off of when uh, I took Diddy to the vets to be uh, neutered and it went slightly wrong so that's a printout so I don't forget what happened to him and then there's like another little clock charm and that holds a picture of Diddy with a little locket and this is the last page, a larger picture of Diddy, and then the paper is uh, got cogs on the back, and then I just did some like sparkly embossing over those to add a bit more detail. And these are ribbon flowers that I got from the works. So I just cut the stalks off and then put a bit of uh, wispy feathers behind it. And then these are uh, Tim Holt's cogs, and they just hold tiny little tag with that I've just stamped things on, that's the clock and I'll put pictures or journaling on the back and that says fun because he's always fun, a little leaf and that says joy and then the very back page is the paper mania paper again and this image here of the hand and the clock was from the steampunk uh, CD and there's a little pocket here that's just got some extra photos and things that I'm not quite sure what to do with yet but that's it, thank you very much for watching